What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial. In this video we're going to use the extension Curvaloft to create kind of an octagonal tensile structure shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So what we're going to do to start off is we're going to come in here and we're just going to start by drawing an eight-sided circle. So to do that you're going to activate the circle tool by tapping the C key and then um, if you look down in the corner it says the number of sides that's going to be in your circle. So you want to type in the number eight and hit the inner key and that's going to draw an eight-sided circle and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle with a radius of 15 feet just like this and then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw a line straight up and uh, we're going to say this structure is probably going to be about we'll call it 14 feet high so we're just going to draw a line up here that's about 14 feet high and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw another circle at the top with a smaller radius so in this case, I'm probably going to draw a circle, an eight-sided circle up here with a radius of, we'll call it two feet, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw this so that we have kind of a tensile fabric structure um, running up to the top of this right here. And so the way that we're going to do that is um, along this uh, circle edge that's on the red axis, we're just going to draw a quick canvas. So a canvas is just a face that we draw um, that's, um, that uh, allows you to work on it without having to worry about locking to a uh, axis or anything like that. And so we're going to use the arc tool on this face that we drew to just kind of draw, just kind of a draw a curve that kind of follows the curve that we want our tent or our tensile structure to follow. And so you'll draw that and then you can erase out your canvas and then all you're going to do is you're going to use the rotate tool in copy mode from the center of this shape up top to copy this along the next face just like this. So you can see now you've got your curve um, down from this point to this point and this point to this point. And what we're going to do now is we're going to draw an arc between these two points to give this a little, make this a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do is we'll just come across here with the arc tool and we'll just go from this point to this point, we'll lock our arc to the blue axis by tapping the up key so we can draw an arc that's straight up or down. And then we're just going to come in here and we're just going to draw an arc just like this. And then what you can do once you've done that is you can come in here and you can erase out this line. And really you can erase out this entire bottom shape because we're pretty much done with it for now. Um, and then the other thing you can do if you want to is you can come in here and you can draw an arc up here as well. Um, otherwise this uh, doesn't look very organic up here at the top. But then what you're going to do now is you've basically got all the different sides that you need to come in here and draw a face using Curvaloft. And Curvaloft is an extension that you can download for free from the Sketchication warehouse. But it basically helps you create shapes or create faces um, in between lines. So in this case what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to select all of these lines by holding the shift key and clicking on them just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this last option, which is the skinning of shapes. So basically what the skinning of shapes means is this will come in here and this will draw a skin along this face just like this. And so you can see as I rotate in here that it's kind of drawing a preview of this face. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could adjust some of these vertices a little bit. Um, I don't think you really need to in this case. I think it does a pretty good job of that. So once you've kind of got the... Uh, the skin or the face that you want you can come in here and you can single click just like this and you can see what that did is that came in here and that created a face um, in between these lines just like this and so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna click inside of this and I'm gonna select all the lines around the edge so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna triple click that'll select everything now I'm gonna double click which will select your lines around the perimeter of this as well as your face so double click in here and then shift click to deselect this face and now what you should have selected is these edges. So once we've done that we're going to use the extension pipe along path and we're going to draw a two inch pipe all the way around the perimeter of this edge. So you can see how what we did there is we came in here we selected all the edges and we said okay draw a two inch pipe along all of these edges just like this. And then once you've done that, you can come in here, you can right click on this and you can make it a component. And we can just call this, um, 
structure piece. It doesn't really matter what you call it. But you can come in here and you can call it structure piece. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use the rotate tool in copy mode again. And uh, remember that as long as you have this box selected, it doesn't really matter where you click. Um, it's going to rotate what you have selected. So in this case, I'm going to click on this box to select it, or this object. I'm going to activate the rotate tool and put it over the center of this shape. And then I'm going to click once on this face just like this. And you can see how right now what that's doing is that's moving this piece. But if I tap the control key, then that's going to put this in copy mode and it's going to create a copy. So I'm going to click once on this face right here. And then without clicking on anything else, I'm going to type in X7 and hit the enter key. And what that'll do is that'll create seven copies of this object in a circle just like this. So you can see how now I've got basically an object that follows all the way around this perimeter just like this. And so now you can come in here and you can delete out this top piece because you don't really need it anymore because you can see how this already creates this kind of like cool um, curving arcing shape at the top. And each one of these is a component so now if you come in here and you reverse the faces or you apply a material or anything like that, you can see how this comes in here and that applies that to every single version of that component. So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Um, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, let me know if you have any cool ideas for how to use this or if, I, if you've seen anywhere where this has been used. I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. Um, that has everything from links to my Patreon page to some extensions you can purchase that'll help support the show. So, and any of that just kind of helps me offset the cost of running this channel and uh, bringing you great new SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.